Hello everyone, this is HES Kesky here, and this is a video I've wanted to make for a very, very, very long time. I could not be more excited about it. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but basically this is a map that is, uh, it, it is all units have blink. So, unfortunately, this version of the map does not have a spectator mode, so I can't use production tabs and all of that. But, uh, anyways, I requested, if you guys remember at the last Red Bull event, I was saying I would love, I would love if someone made a map with, uh, with all units having blink. So, basically, what that means is Zerglings have blink, drones have blink, uh, Reapers have blink, Marines have blink. Basically, every unit in the game automatically starts with blink including stalkers they're going to be starting with blink as well i don't know why these eggs are all the way over there uh what the wtf eggs uh who knows what's going on there but uh, either ways this is kind of a very rough version of the map someone made it and <laughs> apparently apparently <laughs> All right, apparently the eggs are a little bit broken, but uh, either way, we're going to be having a lot of fun with this, and uh, I basically just had them ally with me. I just got to go ahead and kill off my own SCVs here while we wait, but uh, either way, this should be a lot of fun, and I, I don't know quite what to expect. I just wanted to see, is it hilarious, and also, I wanted to get a Terran and a Zerg and, and not get a Protoss, just because I thought that was kind of ironic, kind of funny, and just hilarious all around. So up in the top left side, look at that SCV blinking over there. Up in the top left side, it is going to be Major playing as the Pink Terran. And his opponent down in the bottom right side. He is loved by all. It is EG Suppy. Actually, I'm sure there's someone out there who doesn't like him whatsoever. But uh, we're, we're not going to talk about that person. We're only going to talk about the positive things in life, guys. Which is SCVs with Blink, which is going to be terrifying. So guys at home... Make sure you don't blink or you may miss the action. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with the terrible jokes, but uh, either way, the map is Whirlwind. And apparently, are these actual, are these, are these actually drones? Yes, they are. He's going to be sending in those drones right away. Uh, this could actually be quite hilarious. I think what he's going to do is just blink right past the wall. Now, oh, here we go. We're going to have a blink battle. SCB's blinking around to chase the drones. Going to get this underway right away. I honestly don't know what the hell is going to happen. You can blink away. Ah, he barely saves it. Uh, very, very nice. I like to think that uh, this map is going to make these players so much worse at the actual game because they're going to think that they can be blinking around. You can see the SCV is trying to blink around, almost killing off one of the drones there. Not able to get. There is that SCV still working on the uh, command center. Oh, are they going to blink forward? That's the real question on everyone's mind. But you can see kind of how the uh, blink micro here could get a little bit out of control as the game goes on. Uh, also do remember, though, that the wall in probably not going to be that useful. Overlord should have blink as well. Which is, uh, which is fabulous. I feel like that is great. So, really, I mean, let's think about the options that you can have. You can have Blink Banelings. Those are those will be terrifying. You can have Blink Roaches. That would also be terrifying. But on the flip side, you can have Blink Thors. You can have Blink Marine Marauders. So you can split them up as those Banelings are blinking on top of you. And, uh, of course, the Blink SCVs are quite good. Because keep in mind that uh, Terran... They suffer the most when they lose workers, so to be able to blink them around and save them is pretty awesome. Marine does blink forward as well. And honestly, with no production tab, this makes me feel like we're watching Brood War. Because, uh, basically, that's how it was. When you are spectating a game, there was only the ability to see what was building currently on a building, and that is it. There was no production tab, there was no, like, resource or income tab, or anything like that. So, we'll, we'll just have to, to kind of wing it here. This is more for fun, of course. Factory is going to be on the way. Now, this is a series that you guys would like to see more of. Uh, I'm sure I can get them to update the map a little bit. But uh, for now, we're, we're just going to kick it. It's going to be fun. And the Overlord right there could blink away if need be. And SCV here. We'll see what is it like to scout with a blinking SCV. These are the things uh, that we answer here on Husky Starcraft. There's a blink forward on the Zerglings. They blew their load a little bit early, but it looks like the Queen going to blink forward as well. The SCV doesn't even try. Oh my god, Queens with Blink. That is so terrifying. Got to be able to clean that one up. And uh, no scouting, really, for Major. We'll see if he decides to go for... What is he going to go for? Oh god, Blink Hellions. Are those a thing? Are those uh, are those going to be happening? I think they are. We have the Armory on the way. Starport going to be on the back of this. We'll see, actually, if uh, he can get out Hellbats. That would also be terrifying. We'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see as this game goes forward. But uh, do note that you cannot blink if your unit is burrowed. So, oh, a couple of Zerglings actually be able to blink up in there. 
And actually just one. The other one's going to try and join him. But has to keep an eye out for that. Now, it is so important right now to be able to uh, protect your main base. But here we go. Looks like Link's going to be attacking the main base. All of a sudden, the SCV is going rut row. We'll see if they decide to blink away. There's the Hellions over here. We'll see. Do they decide to blink? Yes, they do. Blinking right on top of the Link. He's got to be able to clean it out. But guess what? More Zerglings. A never-ending stream of Zerglings. The Hellions have got to blink to the low ground. But a Marauder spawning as well. I don't think that's got to be nearly enough, though. Blink Zerglings in the main base. That's, uh, that evidently is pretty good. Who would have thought? The Hellbats, though, are almost here. They should be able to protect those Lings. And got to try and go for the Marines as well. And, uh, yep, got to go straight on the bunker there. And I think the SMEs might actually be able to save this and they blink out of there. I think that the blink Hellbats are going to actually be extremely terrifying to these Lings. Because even though the Hellbats don't do as much damage, they can just blink right into the thick of things. The Marauder as well will be able to soak up a lot of that damage. Oh, here we go. Rallying them around. And here we go. Blink Hellbats can uh, activate at any time. They can blink out of there as well. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, man, is uh, those Hellbats able to roast him up and uh, does look like Suppy there trying to make something happen with those Lings was able to do quite a bit of harassment not enough to actually end the game though as much as he would have liked to it is not the case the Hellbats able to seal the deal we do have the Roach Horn now on the way Spore Crawler gonna be on the way keep in mind that he did spot this Starport he did spot the Hellbats he knows what's on the way but has he ever had to defend Blink Hellbats. I feel like the answer is no. We are about to find out exactly how he reacts to that. That medevac moving out rather quickly here to make that happen. So remember, though, that uh, that Major has got to leave a lot of his units back at home in order to protect against Blink Zerglings. Maybe Blink Banelings. Who knows? Lots of things can give him a hard time. Uh, there, there's no such thing as Blink Creep Tumors, so that's not going to be a thing. But here comes the Hellbat drop. Got to be moving out. I think that Suppy should be prepared for this. Hopefully, for his sake, he's making some units to defend. Yeah, he's got the Roaches on the way. Already has the Spore Crawler, which I, I don't think the Spore is going to play a huge role, but it does help prevent that medevac from getting right on top of these drones. There's the Blink Queens as well. Forgot about those. Even the Blink Roach, man, trying to join on in. More Blink Queens out of nowhere. The medevac might get, actually get taken out. He blinks forward. Gets taken out with the Queens. You gotta remember, man, Queens are a lot better at aerial defense when they can blink. That is for sure. Another medevac gonna go ahead and move on out. This base is undefended, but guess what? Not a whole lot there to defend. Just the one drone. Uh-oh, blink Queens. Don't mess with them, man. All of a sudden, Queens feeling a lot more terrifying. Now, at this point, Hellbat Marauder, a unit composition that may not be that good in regular StarCraft 2 against air units, might actually be good in this situation just because of the Blink. There we go. The Hellbats managed to escape. Queens escaping as well. I do like how Blink uh, allows these players to either be more aggressive or more defensive than you are normally used to. So, uh, lots of epic lulzy happening right there. And the Hellbat Marauder unit composition, they're ready. They are ready to defend or attack. I mean, really, they can do anything that they want to. And I, uh, how do you hold it off? That just looks terrifying. So many queens, actually, right now. Going to be taking down these rocks here. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly how good queens are versus what we're seeing right here, especially once they have blink. That's going to be transfuse plus blink. That is a lot of healing. That is a lot of damage soaked up. But at the same time, this is only Mass Marauder. He did blink forward as well. He's got to be careful. He does grab the watch out right now. He might get caught out of position. Could be a blink forward with these units. And he does. The Hellbats is going right on in there. And uh, does manage to escape for now. But this army is starting to look quite terrifying. Uh, yeah, you do. This is an army you do not want blinking on top of your face. That is for sure. The Queen's Roach is on top of the high ground. There's the Transfuses coming up. Nice concave established here, though. I don't know if blink's actually going to be enough to uh, remedy that defense. And for now, the expansion over here. Marine, does he decide to blink it forward? I don't even know if he's quite paying attention there as he wants to make sure to save his entire army. I think he could kill it off either way. Uh, it's got to be close. Blink or no blink. Oh, the Overlord able to survive for now. The army in the middle of the map. We'll see if he accidentally uh, leaves it undefended. The uh, Hellbats, no upgrades. Marine Marauder, no upgrades either. Uh, we do have plus one attack for Suffy, so he might actually have enough here to be able to defend this. We are about to find out. Queen's jockeying for position here, uh, and which is nice because he can blink them out of the way. Normally, Queen's are going to be slow, they're going to be immobile, and they're just going to be kind of stupid, but not today. The, the, the tension right now is mounting. Uh, we, we don't actually know what their supplies are because I can't take a look at them, but that is a lot of roaches. But it's also a lot of Marauders, so I'm not quite sure exactly how this shapes up. A slight missed blink there. I think he's kind of uh, getting his sea legs going. There's the Overlord blink to scout it out, I guess. This command center has not quite landed just yet. Is it going to attempt to do so? The expansion over here, well, Suppy knows now for sure 
that there's not a whole lot of SCVs trying to get in a position to expand here. Oh god, Blink Widow Mines, if you get the upgrade for those. That could be mighty terrifying. There's got to be the blink right for it on top of this army. He does need to blink back the Marines if possible. Or at least get this army to engage. He is more focused on the drop down here. But he has to be using the army up there. There's a big blink for it. All of a sudden the Roach is looking a little bit scared. They're going to be running into that. But no he's just trying to focus down the workers as long as possible to get away from uh, from these units. I don't think he's going to be able to escape too much though. Because they can just blink forward to clean them up if he decides to. Nah, he just decides a good old 1A attack through. Uh, he knew that he did not need to waste that blink. So at this point, you can see Major able to secure three bases. Suppy, though, with a lot of units. And this this army right now inside these medevacs. Are there Widow Mines up here? Yes, there are. Able to kill those off. Oh, the Queens. You got to be careful. Normally, you would just think that you could escape those Queens, but not when they have blinks. So we have Marine Marauder coming out of Major. Not a big surprise here because I feel like Marine Marauder with blink is something that's going to be really, really good. Does he have the Widow Mine upgrade? No, he doesn't. No, he does not, but it uh, does look like these medevacs are going to be going right now. Dropping right inside this third base. All of a sudden, Subby really going to be struggling to help hold this off. I mean, he just doesn't have enough stuff right now. His army over here is getting hard counter as well. Unfortunately for Subby, he is stuck on pure roach now. And uh, he should be able to blink over that ledge if he wants to for defense, which is what I think he's going to have to do. The roach is here just waiting for this army. He decides to unload actually directly on top of them. At the same time, though, there's another ma major battle taking place over here. I don't think Suppy's going to be win. Oh, I don't know. These roaches doing a lot of damage overall, and uh, they will eventually get cleaned up, it looks like. But still, able to hold off the drop inside the main base. Able to at least do a little bit of damage to that army. But Rutro Major working on some upgrades now. He's got 1-1 one, one upgrades done. Seppi currently sitting at 2-1, though. That's why those roaches were surviving a lot longer than you may think, because they're dealing more damage. A big blink forward to try and take out the Marauders. It might actually end up working out. Widowmine's going to burrow here, but the Overseer's in position. Only one or two Widowmine hits actually go off. There's the blink into the third base to try and take those out. The Marines taking out the Overlord here for it, a potential fourth base. But Seppi just attempting to win with pure blink roaches alone. They are looking pretty gosh darn terrifying at that. And uh, I think, yeah, with the mule right there, he knows that he is in danger as the mass roach is going to end up working out, I would say, very, very well for him here. He just didn't have enough stuff to be able to clean that up. And the Marines, they don't have the range that you need. That's going to be a major problem, uh, d uh, a, pun in a pun definitely intended. SCVs are going to try and take down these roaches. Should be able to do quite a bit of damage to them. I just think that there's too much here. I mean, the Queen able to arrive so much earlier than normal. And the drop over here, not going to be able to even clean up these Queens. I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to. Kind of hard to tell there. There's the big stem. Try and take them out. SCVs getting in the mix, but blinking forward with roaches and Queens. Not a whole lot you can do. More units are on the way, though, for Major. He does have a lot of money incoming. Or at least he did there for a while. The one Marauder still alive. Nine kills. He's actually going to be working on the hatchery there. I don't think he's going to be able to kill it off. We'll keep an eye on him. But there's going to be the GG from Major as EG Suppy able to win game number one. Uh, that was actually so hilarious. Let's see if I can convince him to do a best of three. Uh, all for one video. I think that that'll be hilarious. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can get them to do that. Hello everyone, this is HGS Gaska here, and I want to make this video, uh, so, so badly. It is a custom map. If you guys remember back in the Red Bull, uh, last tournament that I casted, I requested someone make a map where all units have blink. And apparently you can blink around your larva, <laughs> which is hilarious. Oh, ooh, I like that. He can blink it all the way over there to the mineral line. But uh, anyways, I requested that players or, or fans or someone make a map where all units have blink. So this is going to be Whirlwind with all blink enabled. That means every single unit in the game has blink. And we shall see exactly what happens. I want to introduce our two players up on the top left side. It is going to be Major. He's going to have a majorly hard time playing against his opponent on the top right side. Who's going to be EG Suppy. Who is loved by all. Uh, maybe, maybe there's someone who actually really hates Suppy. There, you, you just know there's that guy out there who has like a grudge against Suppy for, for getting beaten down in dodgeball in, in like middle school. And he still hasn't let that grudge go. But for the most part, everyone loves Suppy. I haven't been able to cast too much Major on my channel. But it is going to be a TBZ with all blink enabled. The hatch is going to be going on down here. Now, if this is something you guys enjoy, I want to let you know that I can do more fun stuff like this. I can cast more games with all blink enabled. If, uh, if you find it hilarious. Obviously, it's not going to be the most balanced, but uh, it may be quite hilarious. I can also maybe have other maps made. Like, maybe all units have Stim. Maybe all units have Blinding Cloud. I don't know. I don't know if it's something you guys like and you want to support these players. Uh, I'll put their Twitters down below. They're awesome. Go tell them thanks 
for playing this ridiculous game. Uh, Command Center are going to be on the way. We have gas as well here for Major, so what's going to be his plan with that? I'm actually not sure. We do have the, the Suppy Hatchery down at the Natural. Now, I do want to mention that we did do one test game before this. Suppy ended up being the winner there. Uh, I want to say that in that first game, it, it was kind of just a practice warm-up game, Major went for Hellbat Marauder, which there was actually a timing that looked quite terrifying when he had that. He wasn't able to pull it off, though. And, I mean, you, you think Zergling run buys are bad? Wait until you see Zergling blink buys. Those are, those are even worse when there's Zerglings blinking into your base. You have to leave units back at home to defend. So, really, I mean, there's cool stuff you can do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got one SCV over here. I don't know what those drones were doing. Trying to chase down the SCV, apparently. But this SCV should be able to stay alive for quite some time. Especially with that blink enabled. Should be able to keep it alive. But also, remember, Queens with blink. Very good at holding off drops. Very good at denying harassment. Very good at denying scouting. Oh, God. The SCV going to try to escape here. We'll see if the Lings can actually pull it off. Uh, I don't know. Are, are they? Oh, Blink's in front of it. Could Blink up here if you wanted to, to escape those Lings. Nope, this decides to Blink straight on forward. I, I don't, see, I don't really know how these battles end up working out. Oh, Zergling's blinking forward. It does, a Blink is off of cooldown now. Should be able to save this SCB. And he does. Marine there decide not to, uh, not to show off by Blinking himself forward. But there's going to be the expansion going on up for, uh, for Major. Should be should be pretty cool. One thing you can do is blink your SCBs back and forth when they're mining, but it's very difficult to actually pull off. So not surprised to see players not do that. And I think even the larvae have blink. Uh, the eggs do not have blink, but larvae do. So we'll see if he decides to micro those or not. I think at this point it's probably not even worth it. But so far a pretty passive game. I think that uh, zerglings with blink are what are what majors are gonna have to watch out for most. I mean. Obviously, I don't quite have very much experience with uh, with these types of situations. I oh blink banelings! Oh god! Oh, what is happening? There's a blink for it. Only kills a couple SCVs. Major able to react in time. I was not paying attention. Didn't even realize there's a banling nest. God, this shows you how like giddy I am right now for this uh, for this mass blink thing. I actually have no idea what's going on. So blink banelings. That's gonna have to be something you watch out for. The Hellions over here. Keep in mind they are blink as well. But uh, they, they spot that there's nothing really there. Now, one thing I want to mention is that units can blink from right here up into this base. So you want to put buildings there to continually spot if possible. Ooh, a Banshee with blink. That seems like that kind of harassment could be really, really good. But the Hellions there, they are ready and waiting. They may not be able to kill the Overlord, but they're, not, they're sure as hell not going to let any more blink banelings inside the main base. Although, looks like these may be gearing up to do just that. Lots of lings on the way. Drones on the back of this, though. I do quite like this from Major, making lots of Hellions, because Hellions are obviously, number one, very good versus Lings, and number two, got to be able to help out with these Banelings if they try and blink in there, which uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case or not. Ooh, four Banelings on the way. Is there going to be more? Yes, there is. Four more. Now two more. I'm really bad at math, so let's look up here. Eleven Banelings overall. Got to be morphing in outside the base here. And the Hellions are actually completely out of position. We'll see how this harassment actually goes. We do have spine crawlers on the way. They're not going to be done anytime soon, though. Hellions, do they decide to blink past? That is the real question. Almost accidentally killing that creep tumor. That would have been quite nice. But, oh, God. Oh, God. Here come the blink banelings. Here they go. Oh, God. The Marine, they're able to absorb some of it. The SCVs have got to escape. The Hellion here has got to do as much damage as possible. But the blink forward could be devastating. Get the SCVs out of there. Oh, no. They're not able to escape. They've got to try and try to blink away, but oh god. Oh god, what have you done? There we go. Takes out a lot of those. At the same time, though, there are lots of Hellions over here, which could uh, begin that harassment. The Banshee, the Cloak Banshee, don't underestimate it. A Cloak Banshee with Blink is very, very difficult to kill. That is for sure. We should be seeing some more SCVs on the way. Yep, you can see them rallied over here to the natural. But at the same time, the Hellions aren't quite dead yet. The Queen attempting to gather. Got to kill that Spore Car, though. Drones pulled off the line here. With a big blink with the drones. The Hellions have got to blink out of there as well. No, it actually just decides to mic them away. And oh my god, that did not work out as well as I thought it would. Um, it looks like the Spore Car is done. So the Banshee's effectiveness is severely hindered by this. But both players losing a lot of workers. I think that uh, Major needs to keep just producing workers on the back of this. No, he's actually decided to still produce Hellions two at a time and a Banshee. Apparently having enough money to do so. And uh, Suppy able to get those nice bailing hits. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to kill that Banshee. And saves it with the Blink. Albeit barely. Here comes another Banshee with Cloak. So at this point, I'm actually not quite sure who's in the lead. We do have 30 drones to 12. But with no Roaches in sight. I mean, we have a Spire on the way. 
which actually killing, uh, getting one or two, just one or two meatless out should be great. He's trying to go for the score caller. I think he needs to go for the main base though, because those meatless are going to be out there. There's the big link forward with the Hellion to try to escape those Zerglings. And uh, can he kill off another queen? He should be able to. He does get it. And lots of links will go down, but guess what? Needless are just around the corner. Lots of gas is uh, is ready. Not as many minerals, though. So actually, both players suffering here quite a bit. Another Banshee got to be on the way. They need to get inside the main base. Really killing out this four car is a shame because Needless are going to complete right now. Hellion's not the best option right now. SCDs are actually pulled off the line. Very few units back at home. Going to be going for the mass repair. Muta's obviously going to be pretty good versus this because there's no anti-air. Six Muta's are on the way. And unfortunately for Major, he does not realize that those Muta's are about to spawn. He's going to have to try and dodge them as best he possibly can once they do with these spawn. There's Muta's number one. All of a sudden, Major realizing, uh-oh, we've got to go for it and go for it now. It is going to come down to this crazy blink micro on these drones. Can they actually survive or are the Hellions just going to go straight for it? Looks like Banshees will be able to escape. Drones getting roasted away at a rapid rate. The Mutalists here, they have Blink as well, so they could Blink for it. Oh, the Drones trying to Blink away, but guess what? Hellions returning the favor. Only a handful of Drones survive. And taking a look at the units tab right now, it is six Drones to ten SCVs. A brutal, brutal game here. More Lings actually uh, managing to harass over here. The SCV is trying to mine anywhere they possibly can there. Oh, don't attack that. Want to kill off the Zerglings if possible. So you can see just how frantic this actually gets. The Mutalist got to be moving out. I don't think there's enough anti-air. The uh, the Hellions could go straight for the main base. There's no defense back at home. The Mutas just got to go straight for it. And uh, got to try and get up an engineering bay. I don't think he's going to have time, though. I mean, Marines are on the way, but... Meatless are pretty good. The Hellions over here are going to try and go for the uh, the mineral line. Does manage to roast them away. I actually don't know who wins this right now. I want to say that Suppy wins it because he's killing off the last of the workers. But at the same time, these Hellions have killed off all the workers as well. And the Banshees, if they can stay cloaked, might actually be able to kill off the building. Notice how, uh, notice how Major's going for the Spores because he knows that uh, there's no way for, for Suppy to detect them if uh, he doesn't have any sport callers. So we shall see. The Banshee's trying to find a good angle to go at. Got to be going for this sport caller as well. So now it's going to be Muta's versus Banshee. But the Banshees have cloak and cannot be detected at this point. So we do have a drone or two on the way. I think it's actually just the one drone at this point. So a pretty silly game here as uh, both players are going to try and micro as best they possibly can. Does take out those Lings, the Muta's here. Once the Muta's get on top of the Hellion, so they might be able to always just chase them down. I'm actually not quite sure how this shapes up with Blink cooldown only being, what, 10 seconds? My, oh, there's a big Blink forward. I don't think these Hellions can survive much longer. The Banshees are going to go ahead and move in. They're going to go straight for the hatchery. And the Beatles are going to go ahead and back out. Oh, there is an Overseer. Oh, no, I didn't realize that. So those Beatles should be able to kill the Banshees for sure. Uh, the Banshees should try and kill off the hatchery if possible. The Overseer is almost here, but not quite yet. Blink is off to end, decides to split the Banshees right away. Needs to go for that one, one, one drone. And I think he's going to get that one lonely drone, which he needs to kill that off. So, current, are we gonna, we're not going to have a draw, that's for sure. But, man, is this game going to be close? If you have two Widow Mines, uh, there's one over here and one inside the main base. This Widow Mine is up to two kills. It will be off of cooldown pretty soon. Don't know if it's going to be enough to take down that Muta. The Banshees, not in very good shape. We have the one hatchery over here, the Spire. And uh, just a couple of buildings left, but really, I mean, there's just no way for Major to get up in there to make it happen. We actually have just the one drone on the way for Suffy. This is going to be his last drone. He knows that he has to protect it. At the same time, though, Major able to drop three mules. He has another orbital command right here. I honestly think leaving the orbital inside the main base might be a good idea. But I think what he may try and do is hide it over on the left side. Oh, here come the Hellions. If they kill off that one drone, that one drone's going to go down. That is the last drone. No money is left for Suppy. So at this point, Suppy just has to go for the kill. But I, I oh my god, I think Major actually has this game. I think Major's going to pull this one magically out. The Widow Mine there. Oh, but at the same time, there's still two Mutas here. One more Widow Mine is on the way. But the base down here might be the key to success. He needs to burrow this Widow Mine immediately if possible. The Overlord might get taken out, but hey, it's still taking out. One more unit, and does he drop the uh, mules? Yes, he does. One, two, three, four. That's going to be some nice income. Oh, no, but the mules are going to find it right away. Oh, no, I thought for sure he was going to have that. The mules are going to get taken out, only delivering one load. And uh, I think, well, no, I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. I don't actually know what's going to happen right now. The Widow Mine's doing lots of damage. Uh, is that going to be enough to one-shot this meter? We're about to find out. Uh, might activate that Widow Mine. No, he's narrowly skirting around it. Oh, he kills off the Widow Mine. No, I think Suppy's done it by actually spotting the base on the bottom left side. There's going to be the GG. Suppy is going to be your winner in an absolutely hilarious game. If you guys would like to see more stuff like this, definitely let me know. That was awesome casting that. I might I might have to play a couple of games myself. That was that was pretty lulzy. That is for sure. You can see the uh, workers active there was just downhill the entire game for both players. Army value uh, not very good for either player either. I, is that actually accurate though? I think it is. I guess he did have quite a few Hellions and the Banshees there at the end. But either way, a very, very close game. And the hilariousness is a little bit too much for me to handle. So anyways, go follow him on Twitter if you want to, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Alrighty, we did decide to go ahead and do a third game. And uh, Suppy wanted me to put game number one in there. So hey, I will go ahead and do that. Now this time, uh, my voice is a little bit shot because those games were pretty intense. So I'm going to put my microphone closer. But I'm going to talk quieter. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, now now we're getting intimate over here. So uh, I basically said, you know what? We saw a game with a TVZ. We saw another game with a TVZ. That is 2 Zerg, 2 Terran. Now it is time for Double Protoss for the last game. So uh, we shall see. Both players are going to be off racing as Protoss. And that should be a lot of fun. Remember, all units do have Blink, which is hilarious. You can see that uh, Suppy up in the top right side. Actually, I can open up. I can open up their nameplates and everything. Suppy in the top right side. Got to be going for Protoss. Uh, and the purple color. Uh, and the purple color. And the color purple. And down the bottom left side, it is going to be Major as the red Protoss. Suppy was actually saying that Major is very good at Protoss. Even though it's his off race, is very, very good at. So we're going to wait and see exactly how this shapes up. I wonder if Suppy's little blink micro there is actually going to be helping him out in the long run or not. I don't know. Trying to make it happen. Because if you misclick it, it definitely is not worth it. So Suppy with the micro. Major saying, meh, it's not going to be that big of a difference. I'm not even going to try. Because one misclick is going to completely counteract all the bonus you would have gotten from that anyways. Both players are going to be chrono boosting out the first couple of probes, as should be expected. But uh, at this point, remember guys that the, the entire map, all units do have blink. It was something that I mentioned in the Red Bull tournament. And someone actually made it and sent it to me. They have a picture of me and Day9 like, like doing something that sh it should not be legal in any state or any country uh, as, the, uh, as the thumbnail there. So if you find that, then uh, you know you found the right map. The map is, of course, Whirlwind. We are going to be having cross spawns right now. But again, if this is something that you guys would like to see more of, more goofy games or whatever, it's really up to the fan response. So if it's something you guys like, if it's something that is uh, highly viewed and highly entertaining, then then I'll do it some more. If, if you guys think it's stupid, then I won't do it. But uh, either way, gas going to be finishing up right now for Major. He has the second one on the way. What's Suppy's gas looking like? Well, he's got one gas and is now going to be dropping down his second one. Can't hear you see exactly... How Suppy plays Protoss. Well, as long as he's warmed up on the blinking, I, I feel like that should be enough. Watching the pros blink around is uh, pretty hilarious. Not going to lie. But uh, second has to be finishing up here for Suppy. Cybernetics Core on the way. Both players opting to go for a one base play. Not that I, I, I can really blame them. Just because they've already seen how aggressive their opponent can be. How easy it is to get inside the main base. And to expand this early as Protoss is a little bit suicidal, let's be honest. Lots of one base Protoss builds are extremely powerful versus uh, versus Protoss in this mirror matchup. So the one probe is going to go ahead and I guess not try and scout the entire base as uh, he went up there. Oh no, he messed it up. He messed up. He done goofed. He is done goofed. He's going to be scouting up to the top left side. And this is, this is the silliest feeling ever when this actually happens because uh, you try and make your scouting as efficient as possible. And sometimes you just miss out. As the probe right there is a little bit confused. He's like, all right, we're going to come up here. We're going to see if there's anything going on. And unfortunately, there is not. Wah, wah, wah. As there's no base down there. So he's going to know that his opponent is in the top right side after realizing I did not actually scout far enough. Those buildings were in the far kind of uh, back side of the base as opposed to the entrance there. So we do have the one Zealot. Uh, the Zealot should be able to chase down the probe a little bit better than normal. But guess what? The probe has blink as well. So not sure if it's going to be able to deny that scouting or not. It does look like the probe over here does get uh, denied. Of course, the Martian Core does have Blink as well. So Blink time warp could be quite effective for retreating 
And it looks like the probe gonna slowly move out. Who's gonna be like, no, no, I, uh, I'm just a late probe. I did not completely miss this location. So we shall see that probe is going to attempt to get on up there. And does manage to could blink forward. And he does. The zealot's gonna try and blink. I would think to take it out. Not gonna be that lucky though. The probe is a little bit quicker. Oh, the probes blink to intercept. And that was an interception if I have ever seen one. Two probes on each gas. That's going to be very intentional here for Suffy. We'll see exactly what he plans to get on the back of it. Looks like it's going to be a four gate right now. He might actually just be really, really aggressive right now. And that's going to be versus the two gate of Major. But also keep in mind that Major's been making two units off this gateway. Uh, off these two gateways the entire time. Going to be spotting pylon number one. Will he spot pylon number two? Uh, we're about to... Ooh, no he's not. No he's not. There's pylons number one, two, and three. And remember that Suppy was able to cancel that one, so uh, should be in pretty good shape here. It looks like, um, yeah, Suppy's going to be aggressive now. He is behind in supply, though, uh, which is not good. He needs to make sure to keep warping in those units if possible. He is going to have some stalkers. But, uh, again, the way that Major played this out, this build is so good, is because you get out lots of units right away, and then it gives you a little bit of a buffer to go for a Robotics, to go for a Stargate, to go for a Twilight Council, something like that. He's going to have enough units to hold this off for now. In a standard game, he would have enough units right now. I don't know if uh, if that's how this is going to play out or not. We will find out. Nexus is going to be on the way. Now, thankfully for uh, Suppy, this Nexus is going to be going down right when he wants to attack. And unfortunately for Major, he has not scouted exactly what's going on here. He does have the Observer out. He doesn't know if there's going to be any DTs or anything like that. But at the same time, he needs to make Immortal. Oh, he has one on the way. Might actually be able to get this out in time. The Chrono Boost is on the way. And this is where it starts to get really, really tense. Suppy's ready to go. A blink inside the main base could be devastating. He's got to bring along the probe as well. There he goes, slightly messing up the blink, though. And doesn't want to lose this probe. He's got to keep that probe alive. He wants to start throwing down pylons if possible. And uh, you can see just how difficult it actually is to blink up that ramp. There's going to be the Photon Overcharge. I don't know if Suppy is prepared for this. He might have the Mass Recall out, decides to blink forward. And I love how we're seeing Blink Stalkers before actual Blink Stalkers would be coming out. Anyways, the Photon Overcharge is going to be going to town. He needs to keep the Immortal alive if possible. And he is going to be able to, now that that Blink is activated first, he's a Blink away. Ah, he's not going to get it in time. Major's Photon Overcharge may be the one saving grace here. A couple of his units are getting taken out. Uh, by those uh, giant laser beams. Oh, the mushroom core goes down as it does get a little bit out of position. And I think that Major is actually going to hold off here. He's not in that bad of shape. I mean, yeah, he's going to force a cancel. Yes, he lost a lot of stuff, but he's still got a pro bleed. He has the ability to make immortals, and uh, the photon overcharge is still good. Does he not have warp gate? Uh, no, he does. He just hasn't upgraded just yet. Needs to be able to do that, though. He can if he wants to upgrade it right now. Get two more stalkers. Should be good to go. Oh, but the pylon powering out the immortal. The probes here joining in to try and kill off the Zealot. I think that's actually going to be it. As uh, Suppy saying, Chobo, as Major unable to pull it out. As if uh, PvP wasn't, wasn't, uh, oh yeah, there it is right there. It didn't make those warp gates. But either way, Suppy is going to be your winner in the, uh, in the blink challenge. The don't blink challenge. Or the do blink challenge. Either way, a ton of fun, guys. Go follow him on Twitter. Go tell them thank you for blinking a lot. That's what you're going to tweet at them. Say, tell them thank you for blinking a lot. I'm going to put their Twitters down below. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time.